ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by definitely a, a bit of a surprise today obviously we're just a couple of days away from the whole season one update and the warzone pacific updates meaning in the coming days we should be getting a lot of official information on what will be coming with season one on what to look out for for the pacific and it seems like those teasers and those reveals are officially starting today because over on twitter this morning call of duty actually tweeted out an official overview a bird's eye view of caldera the new warzone map and we get a very long list of locations and various points of interest to look out for on the map as well so today you already know we're covering it all right here so as we go through it all if you enjoy the video at any point let me know by dropping a like on it, it would be seriously appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel or if you happen to be a part of the 58 percent of viewers who have not already subscribed each and every day i am always covering everything going on in cod between news updates class setups tips it is all right here so feel free to subscribe that way you can always guarantee you are up to date also from now until the end of december code immortal is actually going to get you 20 percent off everything on the gamer advantage site you guys see me rocking the glasses in each and every face cam video i wear these things all day every day they're game changers they are lifesavers and now is the best time to pick up a pair for yourself or for any friends for the holidays you know good gifts if i do say so myself so yeah if you want to get a pair of prescription or regular lenses code immortal has you covered now when it comes to the caldera this is what we got this morning so we got our general overview of the map which obviously we're gonna break down we got all our name locations and some behind my face cam as well we also get a little bit of other information about the map itself in the bottom right here we see the scale one inch is one eighth miles on this map now they've already gone ahead and said caldera is essentially the same size as verdansk that's the only thing in call of duty that's comparable to this in size so it'll be very similar to that in overall uh size and scale it's operation vulcan this year which honestly sounds pretty cool it takes place on december 8th 1944 so this is an official confirmation that we are playing in 1944 it wasn't 100 confirmed up until this point which then raises the question uh is realism really a thing anymore because we've got 2019 weapons cold war weapons being used in this map are we going to have heartbeat sensors are we going to have all this uh other stuff from OG Warzone now or are we going to change all of that with this update we're going to have to wait and see and it's located somewhere in the Pacific now as far as these points of interest go or these locations go we've got 15 different ones A through O here listed alphabetically and obviously it goes sort of down the list here so A is going to be Arsenal which is like this top left area it's like a sort of shipping dock kind of area but then we also have B, which is the official docks up top here. So that'll be a pretty uh, big hot spot if I had to guess. We also have C, which is the runway. Uh, it's definitely a smaller one because obviously as we get further down here, we're going to have a different airport, but we've got a smaller runway up at C. D is going to be the ruin area. I imagine this is going to be very wide open based on the overall layout of what we see here. E is going to be the mines, which I'm particularly interested in because I think there's going to be a lot of verticality here because F is the peak. This is the caldera here right basically dead center map right so i'm very curious to see the drop off between the mines here and then all the verticality up to the top of the peak that could be one large mountain we're gonna have to scale in some of those end zones uh moving over to g this is a bit of a larger area but it's also kind of skinnier down the bottom here you've got the beachhead and this is where some of the different like world war ii sub pen areas are gonna be uh obviously we have an official sub pen here but we got some of them listed here different barricades are gonna be placed all up around here on the uh beach side front we got a couple of buildings up in here as well h all the way over here is going to be the village this is what we've sort of seen in some of those preview images where we have some of that water running through it it's those different little huts that kind of look like they're from making a little bit if you will so that's what we got going on over in uh, in h i is then going to be the lagoon not goo lagoon but a lagoon uh right here on the very edge of the map i'm curious to see how much water and how much high quality h2o there actually is in here and if we'll be able to engage with that as at all uh, as you can sort of see on the general overview before we get any further it doesn't look like there's much water we see a little bit of a stream like running right through here uh towards the mines then also like there's some water let me be like a little uh stream or lake down here as well uh in m but not a huge uh, amount of water on the map based on this general overview now for j here we've got the main airfield this is one that i expect to be pretty hot in all honesty just because of where it's located on the map and probably the loot that you'll be able to find here in the different engagements i'd imagine if we have planes on the regular map they'll be located here and maybe up at the uh, smaller runway area but this airfield is definitely the main one on the map a lot of large buildings probably an atc tower and obviously the wide open airstrip that's going to be chaos if you're running down that and you get caught now k is the largest single area on the map this is the fields if i go ahead and uh, and i hide the face cam here we've got obviously fields easily the biggest open area that we have and the largest in scale in terms of where they cut out these different locations so I'd imagine this is going to be wide open there's obviously a lot of little buildings in here that we can see but it's fields for a reason not many established buildings not much cover if you're caught out here and somebody's in one of these little buildings it could be 
a bad time. For L, we've got the official sub pen over here. Uh, and that obviously is going to be the main sub pen area on the map where we have the submarine base and everything, uh, which is this larger building in uh, in scale here. For uh, M, we've got power plants all the way over here. Doesn't seem like it's the biggest area, nor are, are there all that many buildings. But we do have this one large one here at the one point of interest as well. N is what I'm the most interested in, the capital. Now, I would assume this is going to be the hot spot on the map. This will be the new superstore, but you can see it is not really placed in the most convenient area. So all the rotations here are going to have to be to the north somewhere because you are at the very, very bottom of the map. But it's the capital. It is the most populated. It is the most established. Probably is going to have a ton of loot and a ton of players dropping on there on day one. Then lastly, oh, we've got the resort over here. So another coastal area that doesn't have a ton of buildings, but it has the large one. The whole resort uh, calling card that we got for the event, that's where that'll be located. Now, obviously, we also have all these little orange dots on the map as well. These are all points of interest, the whole uh, legend says here. And obviously, you can sort of gauge how much loot is going to be in an area based on the amount of points of interest, I would say. Obviously, loot's not spawning in the middle of a bush in a field, right? So uh, definitely, Capital has the most points of interest included in it. It's very tight-knit and compact here, very uh, all squished together, but there's a lot of points of interest in Capital. Those are all different buildings and places to loot. Uh, K, the field, just because it has so much area and encompasses so much surface area, it has quite a few points of interest as well. The docks has a pretty good amount, as does uh, Arsenal up here. And then even the airfield has quite a few as well. But honestly, this looks very, very fun to me. Something else I want to point out versus Verdansk, the vibrancy now obviously there's just a lot of green and like gray and brown on the overview here we don't get to see all the paint on the buildings and all this that and whatever else but it already looks more vibrant more colorful and more saturated than verdansk and that i am a very big fan of kind of bored of the whole just gray and brown everything if i'm being honest but yeah that is the caldera overview that we've got going on right now except that is not all that we've got going on right now because we have this video here that call of duty tweeted out that i haven't seen yet i'm gonna go ahead and react Travelers, to it as well explorers. Adventure Visit seekers. Caldera. With all travel so, water feature already one on the map. I think this is like the little circular area that's down towards the bottom left of the map based on the, uh, you know, general overview you of this. Book tickets to Caldera Fish AI. Air. Caldera. More on this here in a second. Waterfalls. It's like a little ruins area. Past. Pretty sure this is in the capital. Survey the land from so much water. Like, there's actually so much water. We've got to be able to swim, or at least interact with this by climbing natural rock without getting chains. killed, right? Explore underground caves. Take a dip in a river or stream. Fuel up on the artisanal organic We're swimming. Produce harvested locally. Caldera, the Emerald of the Pacific. Free flights starting December 9th. Pacific Horizon Air is not responsible for any death, parachute... Pacific Horizon Air is not responsible for any death... Capture, imprisonment, forced one-on-one -on -one combat between fellow visitors, drowning, parachuted related incidents. Uh oh. Gas related deaths or injuries, shrapnel, anti-aircraft fire, tennis el tennis elbow, food poisoning, or any similar instances. Gas -related deaths or injury, okay, she's gonna repeat everything fire, I said. Elbow, food poisoning, or any similar instances. Should Pacific Horizon Air become engaged in aerial combat, an early exit may be required. What are you waiting for? Book your trip today. So we got that. <laughs> that was a, that was a video, but that's also not the only thing that we got. If you liked that tweet that that video was in, Call of Duty tweets at you this: a Pacific Horizons ticket, passenger name Francis Lanakilla. My name is Francis now. You all shall refer to me as such, or I will tell mom. Uh, I'm seat two D gate B25 from Hawaii to Caldera, approved via the Ricochet anti cheat. Date the 8th of December at 9 a.m. Pacific. So that is the official launch time for Caldera. The 8th of December, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Then the disclaimer here says, Pacific Horizon Airlines is not associated with, supported by, or in contact with the local government of Caldera. Pacific Horizon Airlines is not responsible for any death, dismemberment, capture, imprisonment, forced one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so all the same stuff as before. Travel to Caldera is not insurable. By deploying parachute travelers immediate or uh, indemnify Pacific Horizon Airlines, its pilots, and all service staff of all liability, regardless of destination or outcome on landing, baggage fees included. They always get you with the baggage fees. But yeah, a little more overview of the map via that video where there's a lot of water. Then also, Francis is one of the leaked operator names. I assume that's what's being referenced here. As we get more information this week on Caldera on Season 1, we're going to be covering it all right here on the channel. You already know, so stick it here for all of that. Make sure you're subscribed with your notifications turned on. And of course, if you enjoyed the video or if you're excited for the Caldera map, 
let me know by dropping a like on the video itself would be seriously appreciated. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.